Hey y'all, this your girl, The Real Deal, Anita Gill, like, share, and subscribe. I'm coming back in with another reaction on the three football players from U UVA that was shot, died in a shooting on campus ground. Uh, I have a video I want to share it with you all, and I want to give my condolences to the families. Each young guy was excellent players. One had an injury before and he just came from an injury, less injury. So we're going to play this video and we'll come back to our reaction, okay? Uh, we'll react as we go. Uh, before I get started, I want to thank my mom for sending me this information. Shooting on the University of Virginia's grounds, now in custody, more than 12 hours after the shooting happened. Authorities just wrapped up a press conference about 30 minutes ago where the news of Christopher Darnell Jones' capture came in the middle of that presser. It was in a very emotional moment. Alex Norhales joins us live in Charlottesville where he has brought you the latest coverage all morning long. Alex, thank you so much for your coverage. What are the new details that you're learning? Yeah, good afternoon. Two major updates here just within the last half hour. Halfway through a news conference with law enforcement officials and university leaders, authorities announced that they had arrested Chris Jones and he was in custody roughly 12 hours after he allegedly shot five UVA students in the center grounds of the university. We also learned the names. We confirmed the identities of those three victims. They are Deshaun Perry, LaBelle Davis and Devin Chandler. Again, all three victims confirming officially are UVA football players. We also learned a little bit more about the shooting itself. Apparently, law enforcement officials say Jones fired into a crowded bus of about 25 UVA students as they were on their way back from Washington, D.C. to see a play. The police say it's still unclear the exact details that led Jones to firing into that crowded bus. But we do know that Jones now faces three charges of second-degree murder, as well as three other firearms charges for this uh, alleged crime. Uh, we also learned earlier this school year, this semester actually, apparently there had been some red flags raised over Jones because he had made some comments about owning a gun, and that had tipped off some red flags to the school's threat assessment team. But as we mentioned, that 12-hour manhunt is over. Here is that emotional moment. Okay, let's talk about this, people. Let's talk about this. Gun control. We have a problem with gun control, okay? I was in uh, in a crime today. Uh, two guys shot. We are losing our young brothers behind gun control. Guns are not used to just shoot and to kill people. It's supposed to protect you, baby. And and these young men getting off this bus right here and lives ended. One just came out of injury, football injury, and the other one uh, a senior. That one sophomore, sophomore, and the other one's a junior. I, almost ready to get his head in the right direction with his career, and now his fam their family has uh, lost a death of uh, each one of their sons. Christopher has been charged with the shooting. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. This is your girl, The Real Deal, Lanita's Gill.